So you want to download an app you found somewhere on the internet or somebody else actually recommended you to download this and you get this type of message. Item not available in your app store. For example, you live in the US and you want to download some app that is available to Canadian users and you just want to get that app. So what should you do? Let's begin with this video. There are two ways how you can solve your problem and one is a lot more difficult than the other. But let me start with the first one and this is the more difficult one even though it looks like or it may appear like it is the better way to solve this problem. It allows you to keep your existing Apple ID but there are so many complications with this like it's not that easy to do. First of all you can keep your Apple ID like the email address and all of that but on the other hand, you have to cancel all of your subscriptions, including Apple Music, and you also have to wait until the end of the subscription period to change your country or region. And that also applies to the store credit, like you have to spend it completely if you want to change your country, and it also sucks because you have to have another payment method set up. If you would like to, for example, change to the German App Store, then you would have to choose the payment method only pertaining to this German store, so you would probably have to have a German credit card, which if you don't live there, you probably don't have one. So I don't really think that this is the best way to go. And you will also probably have to back up your iPhone or your iPad. And you will probably have to downgrade your iCloud storage as well, because you, if you want to like switch to this new country or region, it will be probably required. So instead, I would recommend you to simply log out of your Apple ID, like delete your iCloud from the settings. It's not really a problem if you know the password, you can always log in if you want to. And once you have done that, you simply need to create a new Apple ID. You have to go through the process, like you have to choose the email address, all of that kind of stuff. You have to, of course, verify that email address. You're gonna receive a verification email from Apple. You have to click on the link and all of that. But once you get to the countries and the regions, simply pick the country that you would like to choose and you want to download the apps from. So if you want American, go for the US and you basically get my point. The billing method or the paying method, you don't have to put in anything there. You simply can leave it as none. By the way, if this is your first time on my channel, you should think about subscribing because I try to post the similar tips and tricks for your iPhone, iPad and of course Apple Watch. So I think you would benefit from some of the videos that you would find useful. So hit that subscribe button if you don't want to miss anything important. And what you also have to do is to put in some kind of billing information, like a real address, and you can put there pretty much anything what you want. It doesn't really matter. You're not going to be buying any apps since you have put no more payments. So you're not going to download any paid apps, only free apps. But what you should know about is that all of the existing apps that you have on your home screen, on your iPhone or iPad, that you would like to change the app store on, then those apps will simply not be removed and they're gonna stay there, as long as you don't delete them, of course. So switching Apple ID will not remove them. But what you should also know about it is that you won't be able to go back to your purchase history. Obviously, if this is not possible for a new Apple ID. You should know that automatic updates will not be available unless you manually turn it back on for this another Apple ID. But these are the things you gotta think about. But I believe that there is just one or two apps that you want to try out and, and then you will probably come back to your old Apple ID. But you just want to try it out. You want to see these apps and this is the method you need to try out and this would be it like i don't want to make this video too long for no reason so i just want to say thank you very much for watching i really hope you found this video informative and useful and if i helped you then i would appreciate your support by leaving like on this video or even subscribing to my channel and see you in the next one peace out